Thank you. Thank you. Just so you know, I had to move the flags because I wander around when I speak sometimes, and without looking down, I'm afraid I would step on them and dishonor the flags. So I'm just, that's, that's, that's why that happened, Jackie. Not that I don't like them. You know that, right? <laughs> thank you all for being here, and thank you for joining me on the 15s. I saw a lot of hands, and especially want to thank you for uh, participating in these prayer initiatives that are taking place. We're seeing quite a, a move of prayer again in our nation. You know, we had a, a real surge of prayer in the 90s and early 2000s. And some of that waned, not all of it, but there's another surge of intercession and prayer that's um, very encouraging. And one of the things that, that uh, I have been somewhat surprised at is that I have so many people listening and tuning in to the posts that are not really a part of the stream that I've been a part of you know, the, the vein or the stream of the body of Christ. They, uh, we have people from every different denomination, group. Uh, we have people from every different sphere or vocation uh, that, that tune in to the posts. So it's been really amazing. You know, we have people that they'll hear me say something. I've been teaching for 25 years. And they'll write to the office and say, Never heard that before. Could you ask him to teach more on that? And I just find it uh, really interesting that the Lord is um, sending us another wave. And we need it, don't we? Yes. We most certainly need it. I'm going to teach tonight. You know, I sometimes I preach. Sometimes I treach. And once in a while, I just kind of teach, and I feel a teaching um, in my spirit tonight that I'm supposed to do. It doesn't mean that I'll always be quiet, but um, somebody said the difference between preaching and teaching is the volume. <laughs> I don't know about that, but <clears throat> I feel like um, I just... God has been bringing me back to some things that I really haven't emphasized. In some ways I have, in other ways I haven't, uh, for several years. And he's actually been stirring me to revisit some things uh, personally that, that I feel like I've, um, I don't want to say I've let them slip, I just, I haven't thought about them the way I should, you know. And I, I need to be reminded. We all need to be reminded once in a while, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach on some of that tonight. Some of it is, are, are things that I teach on once in a while because it's sort of a mix. But I want to give a teaching that really informs us of why God told us in two dreams, us being the body of Christ, the praying church, two dreams, he gave us the phrase, command the forward. Well, if you're familiar with painting the borders, you're probably familiar with that phrase as well, command the forward. But when it first came in a dream, Gina Golston had the dream, and this was, I'd say, at least three years ago. She heard the Lord say it, command the forward. And when she wrote it down and when she shared it with me, it was, it was written as F-O-R-W-A-R-D, as in go forward. And we just never could make sense of it. Command the forward. Wait, I said, well, maybe you heard him wrong. <laughs> maybe he was saying command them forward. Or She said, no, 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 it's command the forward. But not until she had the second dream, which is the painting the borders dream and the celebrate while you work dream. 
did she see it written? And of course, some of you remember this. It wasn't F-O-R-W-A-R-D, as in go forward. It was F-O-R-E-W-O-R-D, as in the beginning of a book, the foreword of a book. And of course, it was for now. That's why the Lord didn't really, he just sort of put it out there the first time, but it wasn't time to take action on it until the second time. So he said in the dream, the foreword is, the, is what I said to this nation, for this nation, about this nation at its beginning, the, as in the beginning of a book, the foreword. So he said, you, I need you to go back and find out what I said in the beginning and command the foreword. Well, lots of people have been doing that. You know, they've been painting, they've been praying around the borders of their cities, their states, the nation, some of the creative ideas that people have come up with to do this are just blowing me away. Uh, we got, I, I don't go into this one much, or, you know, because I don't know, I don't have their permission to talk about it, but it's a person that works in a government building, let's just say it that way, and they've been praying through this complex and some of the creative ways that God has given them to anoint this building you would just be surprised and blessed. <laughs> but, you know, and then we get these letters from these 80-year-olds that say, I'm, I just can't drive the state, but I want you to know I've got my map out. and I'm just drawing that circle and anointing that border of my state every day in prayer. I, just, I sit there sometimes just weep over some of these e emails. Children doing it. <clears throat> It's just been really fascinating, but I feel like the more we understand why that accomplishes something it is important, the, the more we understand it, the more faith we can release, and even authority. Authority is linked to revelation. The more revelation of God's word and ways that you walk in, the more authority he can release to you. So it's all kind of, it all kind of works together.